Well, well, well. So, I so you might you may remember over the past couple of days I've recorded a couple of videos. You know, the Sega Android ripoffs, the Sonic Android ripoffs, a few other things. You know, pertaining to that, and that got me thinking. Now I know I've been doing a lot of Android reviews lately, and don't worry, we'll be back to our normal Genesis Dreamcast stuff probably tomorrow. But today, one last video that got me thinking. The ripoffs got me thinking. Let's take a look at some of the forgotten Sega mobile games. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, so doing a little bit of research real fast, and I actually just came across this by accident. Okay, so looking this up, Crazy Taxi City Rush is actually still available. Yeah, it's actually still available, and you can actually get it on the official Sega website. But here's the thing. While it's available, it's only available for iOS. It's gone from Android. So it is still... And I don't even know if the download link works on iOS. I just thought this would be interesting to put this at the end of the video. I already got done making the video. The video is completely done. You know what I'm saying? You're about to watch it now, but it's already done. I already made it. But I happened to come across this while going back and researching a little bit more after I got done. Yes, the game appears to still be available. And that's why you can still get ads on the game. But it's only iOS. That's literally it. It's only iOS. It's only available for. It's still out. You can still get it. You know what I'm saying? Still has. Uh, it's still iOS. Still the same game. But yeah, as far as I can tell, it's gone on Android. And I actually don't know why. I'm going to look real fast. Give me a second. So doing a little bit more research, no one seems to know what happened to the Android game. It looks like Sega just kind of pulled it one day and called it a day, but it's still out on iPhone and you can still play it. I don't understand why. The whole thing just seems kind of weird, but it's apparently, yes, I, it, I just wanted to re-add this in because no, I didn't make it up. It's still kind of, it's still a forgotten game because... Yes, it's available on iPhone, but the big market is Android. It's the big market. You know, it's 99% of the customer base. Not 99, maybe more like, what, 80% of the market share. So, Android is still the biggest one. Most of us have Android phones, including me. So, a lot of people play on Android. But, for some reason, they just pulled it. It's nowhere to be found. And no one seems to have talked about it. Or maybe, or even knows it's gone. It's just, it's not here anymore. And that's kind of unfortunate but i mean you can still get it on the, in apk form so i guess not too much lost here it still works but yeah i just thought that was weird and i just thought i should let you know it is technically still available on ios devices that being said enjoy your videos enjoy your video and have a good one slayers Hey Slayers, I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and welcome to a different type of video today. I say that every single day, but it's true this time. So, you might remember I did a video, I did two videos, the first one about Sonic the Hedgehog Android ripoffs, and I'll do another one of those videos one day. The second one was about Sega Android ripoffs. And then I also did one about Saitona Racing. So that's three videos based on Android games, you know what I'm saying? And this is the last one in that trend because I'm not going to keep doing Android games. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get back to our Genesis Dreamcast stuff tomorrow, almost certainly tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? A couple commentary videos. You know, I did a couple commentary videos. I'll put on Do Not Disturb real quick because, yeah. But no. So... I decided to take a look at three. So anyway, doing those uh, ripoff videos in the Taytona video, which I still have on my phone here. Gotta keep Taytona. It was still fun. And for some reason, I kept that monkey ball game and that um, weird Sonic bird game. I don't know why. But no, okay. So doing those videos got me thinking. Sega made a lot of mobile games over the years. Uh, so lots that were actually restricted to iOS and then lots that were also on both platforms. So... And lots of them aren't available anymore. Even the Sonic CD wasn't available anymore at one point till they brought it back. But I thought, let's take a look at three of them. Three of them that stand out to me, and let's take a look at them. Now, the three I chose was Crazy Taxi City, House of the Dead, what was it called? What was it called? The other one was Puyo Puyo Fever 2009, and House of the Dead, give me a second.
That's right. It's called House of the Dead Overkill. I couldn't remember it. Kill, it was Kill Me. Yeah. But these were the three most interesting ones to me, considering both of them aren't available anymore. All three of them aren't available anymore. Besides Puyo Puyo Fever 2009, because as you can tell, it's a Japanese game. So I don't know if it's still available. I also haven't tested these. So for all I know, none of these work. Or for all I know, they all work perfectly. We haven't tested them. I don't even know if they work the first because because you can't as as far as I can tell you can't legally buy these anymore I had to download some APKs to get these files and a thing with the thing about APKs in Android are a lot of stuff has DRS meaning meaning if you're not it has to download something as soon as you get on the game so it has to connect to the Sega servers to download that and lots of the time those servers are offline like if you try and download Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed via APK, it won't work because the game has to download additional files that no longer exist anymore. You know what I'm saying? So you, you probably, so unless you get like a hacked version of the game, you won't be able to play that one. So some of these might suffer from that. Maybe none of them do. I'm hoping none of them do. I haven't tested them, but... We'll be right back in a second here with them to make sure they work. <laughs> Let's just hope, okay? We'll start off with, we'll go from crazy, we'll go from the oldest to the most recent, okay? So, it'll go Puyo Puyo, because that came out in 2009. It'll go House of the Dead, because that came out in 2013. And then it'll go Crazy Taxi City, because that came out in 2014. All of these are no longer available on the Google Play Store, as far as I can tell. Except, again, Puyo Puyo Fever, I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it's not available anymore because, I mean, Japan, I don't know how the G Japan, Japanese Google Play Store is doing things, but at least here in America, it's not available anymore. We'll be back in a second here. Let's hope they all work. Okay, so we're back. And I actually restarted real fast because we actually got a really nice little Sega screen at the beginning. I'll turn my headphones off here for a second. Oh, no, no, I clicked the wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. We'll click, well, we clicked the wrong one there. Okay, so let, we'll see. We actually got a nice Sega screen, so let's hope. Okay, let's just hope here that it's good. I'll let you hear the Sega screen. Listen. Are you really not going to play? Oh, uh, why is the audio not playing? The audio is not playing for some reason. Okay, hold on. I'm going to troubleshoot. I'll be right back. I hope it's playing this time. I hope it's playing this time. No, it's not playing. I don't know why it's not playing. That's weird. But whatever. We'll get right in this time. So this is called Puyo Puyo Fever. It's version 2.0. And I, it's all in Japanese, okay? And since I don't speak Japanese, I can't tell you what that says. So... <laughs> Come on, I'm just hoping it's doing something and we will get in the game because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to have to end this part. I wanted to show this one off. This was the one I was most excited for considering, you know, I like Puyo Puyo. I love Puyo Puyo, but I mean, judging by this, I'm not too sure what this is saying. Come on, dude. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll translate this. I'll Google Translate this, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I had to go get this weird Translate app, but we'll see how this works now, and we'll just... We'll... So, future Sega Slayer here. It turns out, while I'm editing this video, some of the footage uh, was lost, and particularly the footage that was lost was the House of the Dead footage. Well... Since the House of the Dead, okay, so essentially I'm explaining the Puyo Puyo com communication error. Essentially, let me show you real fast. This is just Chica! oh, so now the sound wants to work on the game. Perfect. So yeah, that's what the second sound coming out. Right? I'm turning it down real fast. Okay, so essentially what this was telling me is. There was a connection error. The connection error didn't work because I can't connect to the server. So I was either assuming the server was offline or I can't do it because I'm in America, not Japan. So yeah, that's that. And the House of the Dead, essentially how that worked. Also, you heard the Sega sound. The House of the Dead, what I have ended up happening was I got on, it tries to download a file, and essentially it can't download the file because the file doesn't exist anymore, so I couldn't end up playing the House of the Dead either. Originally, the original footage ended up corrupting on me, 
so yeah that's i wanted to hurry up and record this so i can tell you yeah that's why the house of the dead footage is missing from this part because there was no footage to record anyway but my original reaction to this not working was essentially yeah it just doesn't work and i ended up talking about later i'll talk about it later on about how android files aren't reliable and about how this sucks and all that blah 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 Event essentially crazy taxi saves this video for us but yeah, that being said, edit a future Sega Slayer out. Enjoy past Sega Slayer. Okay, okay, we appear to be saved. Yes! Here's one that will finally, hopefully, work. This one was developed by Hard Light, I'm guessing. They developed it, or made the engine. It seems to be loading. City Rush, that's what it's called. It's City Rush. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. I had to hurry up and pause it because he was going to show my email, and you know, that wouldn't be good. Okay, um, it appears to work. It's crazy taxi city rush. Here we are. The video is saved for me. For me, anyway. You know, I don't like. The, I don't know if that music's copyrighted. We'll just skip. So here, so apparently we have some drivers to select from. They don't have names. Oh, uh, his name is Vincent Cruz. Yes, they do. Maria Del Rey. Xavier Grant. And Kelly Kelly. And the rest of these guys are locked. Jake Johnson. These names are Lulu. Angela Love. What type of names are these? Captain Crazy now. He's kind of cool. Misty Chrome. I don't even know how to say his name. Mandrew. Rick R. Mortis. Oh, dog. Man, okay. Well, you. Hmm. Vincent Cruz looks like a nerd. I like this guy. We'll go with Xavier Grant. Oh, we'll just change that. We'll just go with our good old-fashioned Sega Slayer 64 here. And let's get in. It appears to be working. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Because, hold on. Let's see. What are the rules? Hi, I'm Gina. This is, wait, this is my cat. This is Bay City. And this is the first day of your new job. Bay City is the hottest town on the West Coast. People are crazy busy. Continue on the next page. Everybody's got some place to be, and they gotta get there fast. The rules pretty much don't exist around here. Yes! Bay City is way bigger than it looks. Uptown is where the biggest speedsters <laughs> spend, oh, spenders hang out. The beach is the coolest place to ride and make some money. Everybody in town is a bit crazy. Someday you'll have your own taxi fleet, but for now, you can borrow my cab. My pride and joy. So let's hit the road and burn some rubber. Hey, I'm all, I'm all in. You know what I'm saying? The game actually works. That then that's the coolest part for me. Okay, so the first thing I notice. I'll turn. I'll take manual turn. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so I noticed something real fast. You know something? I noticed the game is appears to be okay. So I don't know how I feel about this. This uh, the game is, appears to be like auto. Okay, the game appears to be like auto. It's weird. Like you don't control your character; he goes himself, which is kind of weird to me. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, uh, like, I'm not doing anything to control my character. He's kind of just doing it himself. I think I probably should have went for, like, auto turns. You have to tab rapidly. Okay, so your character is controlling himself, and you automatically pick up, dri uh, dri pick up drivers. So, okay, so I'm starting to understand now. I'm starting to get more of the hang of what you're supposed to do here. Now, do I like it? Uh, I don't like the graphics, I can say that much. I mean, it uses that type of, like, kitty cartoon graphics that I really don't like. What are you, I almost want to say shell shaded graphics. Oh, wow, you can just hit boost to go through people? No, 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 no. Oh, dude, I hate the break little section. Plus, I'm kind of scared about this music, because I don't know if this music is copyright. Okay, so maybe there's, like, levels? Okay, maybe there's, like, levels in this. Yes, there are. There appear to be levels in this. Now, again, I that kind of defeats the purpose of Crazy Taxi to me. At least to me, Crazy Taxi should be, you know, an open-world game. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, where should we go next? 
Now the beach is what? Hold on. You guys see what I see, right? Now, if that isn't the biggest reference to BD Joe, I don't know what is. He's legit just like BD Joe. BD Joe, we'll go to the showroom real fast. Unavailable? No. Now, I'm guessing you probably aren't able to buy anything anymore because, well, you know why. Obviously, because, you know, the game doesn't actually exist anymore, you know what I'm saying? So, even if there seems to be like a little pay section you can pay this st for stuff in, but obviously, since the game doesn't exist anymore, that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that dude's rich. Yeah, yeah come on, bro. I don't know. I just I think Crazy Taxi is a game better suited for when you play it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I prefer to play the game myself and then having it being like an auto run little level scroller. I don't know. It's just the Crazy Taxi feels more like Crazy Taxi when it's actually Crazy Taxi. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I mean it's okay. It's not. So, so, I mean, it, I mean, but then again, right, this was designed in 2014, you know, this was designed to be a game, for 2014, this does look really good, but this was designed to be a game that you pull out of your pocket and play when you, you, you know, you're bored, you have nothing else to do, that's catchy, because when you're bored, you have nothing else to do, it wasn't designed to be a full-on Crazy Taxi, plus, I mean, Crazy Taxi Mobile, and I'm actually getting a TV, so just get out of my way, Crazy Taxi Mobile, I guess, really, I mean, Crazy Taxi Classic was actually the good alternative to this, because you have the original Crazy Taxi on mobile, so that's the one I would play more, but, like, I can see why some people who might have liked this one. I mean, it really seemed to be popular back when it was, um, when it was still new and hip and fresh, and you know what I'm saying? It seemed to be kind of popular, but me personally, during the time I didn't play it, I had a phone and stuff, I just didn't play it. No, 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 no. Ads, no, not ads. How am I still getting ads? Listen, how are we still getting ads? Let's ask this question, right? I'm getting ads. Who's actually getting the money? This is an APK. Who's getting the money for the ads? That, that's what I want to know. Does Sega still make money off people who play this game on APK? Did they get a few cents from me? We'll just pick up. We'll do one more. We'll do one more, and then I'll give my verdict on all three of these games. Well, uh, kind of all three of them because we didn't get the look at the other two. But Crazy Taxi, Crazy Taxi saved it for us. But well, I mean, still, I can see the appeal for this. I mean, especially for maybe younger kids. You know what I'm saying? They might like this over the you know, like real fast, cra crazy, frantic GTA. I um, GTA style like Crazy Taxi. But I don't know. I prefer that little open world feeling of uh, Crazy Taxi, you know what I'm saying? At least when I was younger, that's what I was playing, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't even know this existed. Even though I, you know, had Android devices, I just did not know this was a thing. Nor did I really care because, well, I mean, like I said, you could just play the real Crazy Taxi. It was available or mobile at that, and it was a lot cheaper. So as I can see why Sega probably discontinued this. There was really kind of no reason to keep it around. Especially if you're gonna have the real Crazy Taxi. I can guarantee when the real Crazy Taxi came out, a lot more people chose to play that over this one. And so this one just kind of fell into obscurity and it wasn't really worth it keeping it up and running. I mean, well, some of these are extremely easy. The music isn't, clearly the music isn't as good as the original Crazy Taxi, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have, like, that rock style to it that I like, but, I mean, it is what it is. So, what's my final verdict on all these games? Well, first off, let's talk about these two first, and that'll be House of the Dead and Puyo Puyo. This is my problem with Android game, early Android games and stuff like that. This is a problem, because I wanted to really review these ones, but I couldn't, because, well, first off, one... I can't play because I can't connect to the server, and that could be for two reasons. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna rule out any reasons because, first off, this one Puyo Puyo might be because I'm not, you know, in Japan. I'm obviously in America, or it might just be the servers are down. I considering this a 2009 game. I'm not gonna go with the later option, but the first option is is like uh, um. Isn't it a possibility? You know what I'm saying? Then House of the Dead. This one is what I'm talking about. Why do Android games always have to download those additional files at the first? Because here's the thing. It ruins the preservation of the game. Once the game is gone and those files are no longer accessible from the person who has them, obviously Sega, 
you know what I'm saying, or any publisher, EA, Activision, anybody who makes Android games, mobile games, once that download is gone, once that server is gone, if that company goes out of business, the games are lost with it. This game is completely lost. I'll never get to play this game, you know what I'm saying? There's videos out there documenting this game, but I want it to play the game, and I want it to show, off, show it off, and I'll never get to do so for either of these because the servers are down, and that's what I really hate. There shouldn't be... I mean, I can understand the need for down and updates, but why do you... Why can't you just have the update as a standalone thing on the store or something? Why does it need to download the file as soon as I get on the game because then I can't play the game. And this happens with not just this game, it happens with a lot of games. Like I said, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Transformed and the first Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing for mobile are both gone, lost to time because the Sega decided it would be a good idea to install a download file at the start. See? You can see real fast, it quickly tries to download something, but it can't do it because. Well, obviously, because the game is just not working, you know what I'm saying? It's just done. And that's, and that's sad, because I really wanted to review the game, but the game itself is lost to time, you know what I'm saying? It's, lo it's lost to time, it doesn't work. Now, sometimes if you go on it, you just get a black screen, it doesn't work, the game itself is just done, and... That, that's really sad and kind of heartbreaking because it means these weird exclusive mobile games and stuff like that get lost to time because you can't go back and download the files. And once they're gone, they're gone. Then that's a huge problem. That really being said, that's really it for this video. If you're new here, if you could subscribe, that'll be really awesome. We're trying to reach 200 subscribers and you'd be helping us out a lot. We're only 8 subscribers away. Make sure to share this with your friends to become a super slayer. I've been the world's coolest second enthusiast, Second Slayer 64. And until next time, have a good one, slayers.